this problem we have a pump and remember a pump operates basically by raising the pressure of the fluid and it does that by converting mechanical shaft work to flow energy. And so what we have is we have a, a gasoline pump that is consuming 3.8 kilowatts of electric power when it operates. And it says if the pressure differential between the outlet and inlet of the pump is measured to be 7 kilopascals, and the changes in velocity and elevation are negligible, determine the maximum possible volumetric flow rate of the gasoline. So first let's draw a picture of what's going on. So we have a pump, and so I'm just going to say that this is the um, pump in, and this is the pump out. And I'm going to label this as 1 and 2. And then the pump is hooked up to a motor, so the pump is being controlled by an electric motor. So this is probably the shaft that's spinning. And it says that the motor, or that the, um, so the motor consumes 3.8 kilowatts of electric power when operating, so 3.8 3.8 kilowatt. And I'm just going to label this as motor. So what we what we want to figure out is um, it says determine the maximum possible volumetric flow rate of the gasoline. What we're going to need to do to solve this is do an energy balance. So energy balance. And so we have the energy in, and I'm just going to use the real gen, I'm going to start with the real general energy balance. So energy in minus energy out is equal to the change in energy of the system with time. And so we're, let's make a few, let's make an assumption. Um, we're going to assume that the pump is operating steadily. And if we do that, we can say that this change in the energy of the system with time is equal to zero. So basically we're just saying that the pump operates at steady state. And you want to make this assumption, otherwise this equation is, becomes pretty difficult to solve and this is probably a pretty good assumption because we if we assume that the pump's been operating for a while which it probably has been then we can assume that it's operating at a, a steady flow. Um, so anyway if this is equal to zero then we have the energy in is equal to the energy out and so now what we need to do is just figure out what energy is going in and what energy is going out. So going in, we first of all we have work in, so we have work from, we have the electric power from the motor, so we have work in and we have, so we have our flow energy right here, so this is plus m dot um, p v1 and then we have flow energy out here. So this is m dot p v2. And I'm also making an assumption that the elevation across the pump is negligible. So basically the change in potential energy is approximately zero. And that the kinetic energies are um, negligible. So delta ke is approximately zero. So in, in this case, I only have flow. I'm only considering flow energy. All right, so now what I want to do is solve this for, um, well, I'm going to rewrite this equation a little bit. So I have work in, and this is equal to the mass flow rate. And then this is going to be equal to P2 minus P1. So basically, I just subtracted 
this term over here. So I have P2 minus P1 multiplied by V and then um, and then the mass flow rate so the problem is asking us for the volumetric flow rate so we want to write this equation in terms of the volumetric flow rate instead of the mass flow rate and we know that the mass flow rate is equal to the volumetric flow rate over the specific volume and that's because so the volumetric flow rate is meters cubed per second and the specific volume is meters cubed per kilogram so then the meters cubed cancel and you end up with kilogram per second which is the mass flow rate so I'm gonna um, rewrite this in terms of the volumetric flow rate so this is V dot delta P so P2 minus P1 is delta P what I want to do is solve this equation for the volumetric flow rate because that's that's what the problem is asking for I know what the work in is because that's given right here and I know what delta P is because that's also given right here so then the volumetric flow rate is equal to the work in divided by delta P so then this is equal to 3.8 and kilowatt is kilojoules per second over delta P is 7 kilopascals and then one I'm just going to use a conversion so one kilopascal meter cubed is equal to one kilojoule and so then this kilojoule cancels the kilopascal cancels and I'm left with meters cubed per second which is the volumetric flow rate and this works out to 0 0.543 meters cubed per second